Welcome to Good Mythical More. As it turns out, mythical crew members dream about us. They don't tell us. Though. It's mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're gonna try to match the crew member up to the dream that they actually had about us. Is this gonna get weird for Could us or them? Well, both. But first, we're gonna play Who Are You Talking About? We read a comment that one of you mythical beasts left about one of us. We mm -hmm. guess who it was about. This one is from Robin Love who says, the screams of horror when blank eats some harmless bicarb is so funny. What's a bicarb? Is that two, just something with two carbs in it? <laughs> Bicarb? It's just. It's I don't a, know what a bicarb like, is. It's like a keto thing. Oh, really? Yeah, you can have two carbs a day. What a, but a, what is a harmless bicarb? The screams of horror when I mean this has got to be Link eating something and that, and being a little extra about it, right? I mean that's you. But right? you but you eat so much more than me. But do I scream? Horror? Well, no, the viewer I love screams carbs. with horror. I love carbs. I'll take two, four, six. I don't care how many you give if me. They're screaming with horror. I'm gonna say you, man. I'm gonna say you, man. Me. You. It's me. Let's see what no, no, no. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay, we need Mike Paisley. Oh, he already told us. Yeah, you only have one lifeline left. <laughs> oh gosh, it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I still don't know what a bicarb is, but I think well, it has something to do with baking soda. Yeah, it was a it was like a, a trick that we were doing. It Come on in here, guys. Right, where do you move this? I don't. This is your uh, job. Push it this way. <laughs> All right. We've got some familiar crew faces like Emily and Chase, but we also have, for the first time on Good Mythical More, KG and Najia. Welcome. You guys scoot all Welcome. the way together, all the way up. Don't be shy. You got to really scrunch it, really scrunch it in. Okay. How are things over there in Sportland? They are pretty good. All right. Um, I'm in charge of all of the product sourcing, so if you've been on Sport and you've eaten it, I've ordered it. Oh. oh. oh okay. Well, thank there's you. For that. So, there's so much stuff being sourced, so that's a lot to be in charge of. <laughs> that there is. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of stuff being sourced and tasted. It's oh. important. It's important work. Well, more, I mean, Morgan was just talking about um, what it was like to taste 25 mayonnaises uh, in, in one sitting. <laughs> he was such a trooper for that. That is great. Yeah, so Stronger than me. a lot of taste of mayonnaise. <laughs> so all of you guys have had at least one dream about at least one of us. I've had multiple. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah, multiple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, scoot that way a little bit. I only one I can remember hiding. vividly enough. Okay, and Rhett, right, you got the card, so let's let's hear one of these. Okay, this one's innocent enough. This is just, uh, I dreamt that Rhett and Link and I were flying together, arms out like wings. Classic dream flying. That's cool, you know? So it is- Flying with your boss. I, I, I do the swim the swim method when I swim, when I, when I, when I <laughs> fly in dreams. I don't fly anymore in dreams, but as a kid, if you got slow- Doggy you'd paddle? Like, you'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you ever fly in dreams? I, I don't think I've ever flown in a dream. Well, if you do, you doggy paddle through the air. I think there was one I time I flew in a dream. Now when I say, I've never done so-and-so, then the next day on Twitter, it's just like clips of me doing so-and-so. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we're gonna have clips from your dreams. Flying Me saying that I flew. In your dream often represents a feeling of freedom such that you have set yourself free from people, places, and experiences that may have been holding you back or harming you. So this person does not feel as if you are holding them back. And in fact, they want you to fly away with them. Look at look at how much you've grown free. here, Chase. You've grown so much. It's like you we've we've encouraged you to spread your wings and fly. Thematically, this just makes sense. I would like to think that <laughs> that that you've uh, that you've turned that into a dream. Although I do typically fly in dreams the swimming way. Just pointing that out there. Flying together. <laughs> Were we all swimming through the air together? Well, we'll find out. So now, KG out, like, and Najia, you got you guys are both relatively new here. Mm -hmm. This is her first time on yeah. the show, by the way. Both of you guys' first time on. Oh, board. really? Yours too? Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, so. I'm thinking that the dreams that they'll have are more like what they think about us or like starting a job anxiety or something. Or like our hair will be the current Trauma. version of our hair in their dreams. <laughs> From oh yeah. So many Long haired Rhett and tall haired Link were, and then it, that's how the dream will be played out. All right, it's a giveaway. I've had two dreams, uh oh. The first one was with Rhett, Link, Nicole, and Josh, and we were playing football in a grocery store. Okay. 
Emily does a lot of mythical kitchen stuff. So. That's right. And a lot of football. A lot of football. <laughs> That's right. You're like the biggest interloper. Interloper? Like the mythical crew, like going to the kitchen content, going to the... <laughs> I like content. interloper a yeah, lot. Yeah, you're, you're, a, you're very... Uh, Emily the interloper. <laughs> you cross membranes easily. Mm, thank you. Thank you. The aisles were the yard That's markers. Nice. Okay? In the second dream... GMM was being filmed on a water stage, so I had to hop onto the stage in the middle of a lake and prep the next episode. Okay, this has got to be KG. She, KG, you're giving yourself away here. Doing your also your face, like your come production. on, <laughs> like I'm just nervous. I'm nervous. You, you're nervous. <laughs> you, because you work on the mythical kitchen set too, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know this has got to be you. <laughs> Your face is so funny. Right. I mean, when you when you before you started working here, like, what did you think it was going to be like? Um, I just felt like I was going to be cleaning up a lot of messes. Um, I watched you guys before, so it's yeah, like really prepared. And <laughs> it, is that part of it? That's oh smart. yeah, <laughs> guys, oh, dreaming yeah. about playing football can symbolize working on a team. On a team. Oh yeah, Katie's part of the team now. Hey. Running through the grocery store. Love it. <laughs> Clean up on aisle everywhere. Kind <laughs> of a thing. True. That's kind of like that could be your Twitter bio. Yeah. I would think it might have been you because of the, the amount of shopping you say you do, procuring. I do. I also do some article writing, so I'm not oh, as right. involved with my apologies as KG might be. Or anybody else. <laughs> okay. That's true. All right. Well this one's this one's a little disturbing because I accidentally let Barbara out of the building and she ran away. Oh wow! This is like my nightmare. That would be bad. It's like killing your boss's dog. Oh uh, uh, <laughs> man! Or this... losing it, I guess. Man, you sure you didn't have this dream? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you she could just run away. And she didn't die. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so Barbara hasn't been around that that much lately, maybe like once or so, so I wouldn't think this would be an issue em yet. Emily's got a relationship uh, with yeah, Barbara. Emily though. knows Barbara. Okay. Barbara knows Emily. I know we did the live stream with the dogs, and you were part of the... fun. Yeah, part of the mm -hmm. Mythical Society maybe dog live stream. she had the dream. But that was it. Great memory, Link. <laughs> How about this one? I had a dream that I was... Getting... You're not from Kentucky. No. <laughs> <laughs> I had a dream that I was getting a tour of the Rhett and Link factory. Whoa. Factory. This is cool. I never saw a Link, but did see Rhett at his post where his job was to graciously accept drawings from children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, child. I, listen, I've <laughs> never... So sweet. Thank you, child. I've never judged a child's drawing. You know, in, in, in front of them. I wait until they get out of earshot. That's a I wonderful know, drawing, child. I Thank do you. hope Stevie tells us what graciously accepting <laughs> drawings from children means. <laughs> dream it. So yeah, yeah. Chase, you're yeah, saying what this wasn't you. On the, on the dream. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah. It was, was basically just him in a booth, surrounded by piles of drawings, thanking every child as they handed him papers. How does that play into the factory of it all? Do, are we, or do we, like, burn them to, like... Fuel the factory. I don't. I don't know if this is accurate, guys, because the sentence structure is pretty bad. It says, "Dream about child drawing is an evidence for your support system. You are suspicious of everyone's intentions. You need to be more aware of what is around you. The dream is a signal for the image that you are projecting to others. You're reevaluating your path in life." Wow, that got really. That does sound what? really <laughs> intense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought you would have just Googled um, being Zaddy Santa and that would be like, <laughs> like that would be it. I'll I mean, just I, pull that up from my history. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think this is Najia because there's like these like, what's it going to be like to work at Mythical? It's a Rhett and Link factory. Okay. I, I, I mean, could have thought that though when they're coming into work. I don't know, man. Now, this is not my dream, but I have had dreams that we all lived here. Like that I've so had dreams cool. that we are now like we had an apartment that was like well, we attached about it for to the while. studio. <laughs> really, we all live here, but we still share that little little shower situation. <laughs> Just the, the one with the hot water heater that's like this tall. Have you, ever, like, have you ever ever seen the hot water heater? It's uh -huh. not the type. It's of, like it's hit, not on the tour. No, no, but it's like this tall. So who you, showered in that shower? You have? You have? KG, you ever? 
No, I, I know you've, you. you've cleaned the shower. There's yeah. rubber boots in after there. The, what is uh, that? The after the fish <laughs> guts thing. Why are yeah. there rubber boots in the shower? Well, I don't know. Sometimes the water gets deep. If yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the drain, we send so much up. down yeah. that drain. I was like, are those the shower shoes we have to use when we get no, in there? No, just rubber boots <laughs> on. Boots on. Yeah. All right, okay. so we're, so we're gonna give this to Nigia, but before we uh, see if we were right or not, we want to make sure that you're checking out and following Mythical Kitchen here, Trevor, because he's got a podcast, Trevor. Talk Talks too much, and you know what? Stevie's also got a podcast. Best friends back, all right, with the best friend Nagin from high school. So get those podcasts wherever you get your podcasts, and don't miss the latest clips from all the shows on Mythical Pods. That's on TikTok. Yeah, oh. TikTok Mythical Pods. Um, Chase, are we right? Were we flying together? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. This was uh, like the week leading up to starting my internship. Oh. I- I was just like I had a dream that we were all flying together. <laughs> oh wow, you really, you really had a positive outlook coming on board. I I really did. Like, I was this is it. Very excited, and I do remember like <laughs> typically whenever I have a flying dream, it leads to like also falling. Mm. Um, yes. But when I felt you guys were not there, so I don't think you had anything to do with like right. Yeah, that we took off. Typical, we like, we pushed you down and then right, flew away. away. <laughs> 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 but we're I've gone. also dreamt that we all like lived together. Uh, I think it's because I grew up here in Burbank. So in my dreams, it's always like the house I grew up in is melded with the mythical studio. Ooh. Should we have a mythical hostel? Should that be it? Should we like annex? I a, think we should build bunk like, bunk, apartments bunk on the top, like you go second floor. Be great for my commute. You know, Amazing. yes, I, a live work community. Maybe. Yeah, and let's make it more like barracks. So, like, yeah. it, it's like if you just if you're having charge. trouble at home, <laughs> just right? Don't char- if you're yeah. having trouble at home, you can just take, take one a, of a barracks. Don't charge those yeah. LA rent prices. <laughs> yeah, I'm this is like that movie. Sorry to bother you. They had it's like people who are now living. Yeah, where that's they work. true. Mm-hmm. It's the future. Maybe yeah, you become a horse person. You just spoiled the thing. Well, Fine. cut that out. Cut it out. Yeah, yeah. Leave it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Najia, was it the factory <laughs> dream? <laughs> You're correct. Yes. yes. I uh, I have a lot of apocalypse dreams when I get stressed. So uh, this was like a dystopian future where this was replacing Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Um, and basically... I like your apocalypse. That doesn't seem dystopian, though. It seems awesome. Well, it, the factory was amazing. Um, but it was, I mean, especially the, the Rhett graciously accepted. Very gracious. The, ah, I mean, as many as you got. I'm going to be happy that every time. Wait, if it's Chuck E. Cheese, are they animatronic Rhett and Lynx up there, like, singing happy birthday? And dancing every hour? Oh, my gosh. No, yeah. it wasn't. I would that love point. that. It was. It was still dystopian, but it was very much like okay. The children have received their monthly allotment of praise, and now they go back to their kindergarten cubicle to accept their nutrition cube. Kind of. Oh, vibe. really? So, yes. Wow. Well, we got to start this. And what are we making in the thing? factory? Nutrition you know, cubes. Nutrition <laughs> cubes. I'm not sure. Um, Mythical nutrition cubes. Maybe you're repurposing the drawings. I didn't get to stay that long, but... <laughs> oh, okay. After, I think it's after, after we thank the children for their drawings, they leave, then we burn them for fuel. Yeah. yeah. The drawings? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Good distinction to make. <laughs> the drawings. <laughs> Not the children. <laughs> Not the children. <laughs> KG, we the know, we know we're right about yours, right? Yeah. Um, this, yeah. Um, so the first one was the grocery store one. Yeah, and I woke up by someone tackling me into the aisles, and then it was like a domino effect, and once the last one fell, I woke up. And then the second one was kind of like a, it reminded me of like a Disney World water show and they came off the water float like parade and I just had to like hop on and not try to drown and clean up the table. (laughs) Okay. Man, did you ever think you were going to die like actually at work? Oh, no. Good. Not yet. So. Good. Not yet. <laughs> but Make it happen. You are asking for more water situations. Yeah, so you're yeah, all, like all a little set. yeah water show. It okay. would be bad if somebody died here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Like, <laughs> again, agree. Keep yeah. it in the brain. <laughs> Someone's got to rewind and go. Somebody did die here. Keep it in the brain. <laughs> oh. Show up tomorrow on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> it would be bad if somebody died here and then I totally forgot. <laughs> Oh, somebody, oh, really? Mm. Yeah, I, don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> you, I mean, and you're sitting next to the person who you literally threw a dart at. It wouldn't have killed you. It would not have killed me, no. It would have, it would have. A uh, little bit higher. Could have gone right up the nose, right into the brain. Like in the arm. It would have been like right there. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could have bled out right there. <laughs> yeah, it's not like there's major if arteries. Have, if we could have gotten to the hospital in time. 
<laughs> Emily. What's up? What was yours? It was, um, I accidentally let Barbara out of the building and she ran away. I was leaving like the front door. It was Queen like, sweep. End of the day, yeah, y'all, y'all nailed yeah, it. Congrats. It was the end of the day. I just opened the door like I was leaving, and then Barbara just went, just like out the door, and then Rhett was like, ah, like ran after it, <laughs> and I thought everyone was gone. I thought it was the end of the day. I was like, where, where did they come from? And then everyone was behind me going, how could you, how could you do this? Yeah, <laughs> and I was yeah. like, I didn't do it on purpose, and they were like, you just don't, you're not paying attention. You yep. did just let Barbara out uh-huh. of there, and it's just like, I'm disappointed. I didn't in you. do it on purpose. If I, if it was on purpose, it probably would have been. Jade. She runs really fast. But like, <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Yeah, no, me and Jade had a tumultuous relationship she, for a moment, yeah, but she, now we're chill and good. But yeah. like, Barbara, Barbara's never done anything. No, me. Barbara's sweetheart. Jade, <laughs> Jade knows only one love. No, Jade is up. Jade has um, boundaries. And I respect That's right. that. Barbara has no You're boundaries. Outside. Yeah, she apparently does <laughs> it in true. this dream. Barbara, Barbara has no boundaries. In fact, we have a friend who is staying with us right now. And last night was the first night that he was staying with us. And, of course, like Jesse comes up to the bedroom. And usually Barbara would be with her. And Barbara wasn't. And she said, yep, Barbara was at our friend's door waiting to be let in so she could sleep with him. Because that's if, if you're a guest, Barbara's like, well, I guess I got to do my thing where I sleep with the guests. Oh. <laughs> All night or like half the night? All night. Is she in the covers or on top? On top. She will, she'll she come up and she'll get on top of you and kiss you and lick you. And then she's like, she like nods at you and then goes to sleep on the foot of the bed. But she does with every single person that we've ever had stay over. She's a great host. Yeah. She's like, I, this is my this is my role. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm the lover in the house. Where does Jade and, and the, the other one? Jasper. Jasper. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, I really do like those dogs. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, you don't have to like them. I do like them. I just, uh, you know. But um, where do they sleep? Uh, Jade sleeps right here. Oh. And like uh, underneath my arm. And then Jasper, sometimes he'll sleep down there next to my leg. Or sometimes he'll sleep behind Christy. Like... Up, on the pillow? Yeah, on the pillow, Whoa. like up here. Like, I like roll over and, and look at Christy, and like, then there, it's like, it, it looks like Daniel. Oh my God. It's like God. Jasper's head. That's on, where I got the idea. On top <laughs> of Christy's head, both like looking at me. Well, when one of us is out of town, like Jesse or I are out of town, Barbara sleeps on the pillow of the person who's not there. That's another weird thing that she does. Oh, man. Yeah. She's like, I'm, so going. So so I'm, I'm on the pillow. I'm so I sorry I killed you your dog in killer. my dream. <laughs> and when he was out of town, if she would pick, like... Is it the pillow or the guest? I don't know. Yeah. We're going to have to experiment. Hey, we want to let you know about a brand new podcast hosted by our very own mythical kitchenier, Trevor, called Trevor Talks Too Much. Check it out on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts.